Welcome to the introduction to VMware Virtual SAN 6.0 module. This module provides an overview of Virtual SAN 6.0, its technical characteristics, benefits, and features. This module also delves into the availability, performance, scalability, self-service, monitoring, and troubleshooting capabilities of Virtual SAN 6.0. Click Next to continue. At the end of this module, you will be able to explain VMware Virtual SAN 6.0, identify the technical characteristics, benefits, features, and all flash architecture of Virtual SAN 6.0. Outline the availability, performance, scalability, self-service, monitoring, and troubleshooting capabilities of Virtual SAN 6.0. Virtual SAN is a hypervisor converged storage solution for virtual machines. It delivers high-performance scale-out storage that is optimized for vSphere virtual infrastructure. It virtualizes physical storage resources of VMware ESXi hosts and turns them into pools of storage. These pools of storage can be divided and assigned to virtual machines and applications according to their quality of service requirements. Virtual SAN also simplifies the storage configuration and virtual machine provisioning activities. Virtual SAN 6.0 is an enterprise class storage solution for any virtualized application, including business critical workloads. Its seamless integration with vSphere and the entire VMware stack makes it the ideal storage platform for virtual machines. Virtual SAN 6.0 can be configured as hybrid or all-flash storage. In hybrid storage architecture, virtual SAN pools server-attached capacity devices such as magnetic devices, caching devices that are typically solid-state drives or SSDs, and peripheral component interconnect express or PCIe devices to create a distributed shared data store. The data store abstracts the storage hardware and provides a software-defined storage tier for virtual machines. Flash-based devices, such as SSD and PCIe, are utilized as a read cache to accelerate performance. Capacity devices, such as hard disk drives or HDDs, are used for data persistence. Virtual SAN 6.0 can also be deployed as an all-flash storage architecture in which flash-based devices such as SSDs and PCIe are intelligently utilized only as a write cache. The other flash-based devices provide high endurance for data persistence. This implementation delivers extremely high performance up to the range of 100,000 or more input-output per second or IOPS per host without compromising on the cost. The virtual SAN all-flash architecture allows tiering of flash-based devices for capacity as a performance write-intensive, high-endurance caching tier for the writes, and a read-intensive, durable cost-effective flash-based device tier for data persistence. Virtual SAN 6.0 delivers high performance that can meet the needs of the most demanding workloads. A Virtual SAN 6.0 hybrid architecture can provide a 2x performance improvements over Virtual SAN 5.5 hybrid architectures, while Virtual SAN 6.0 all-flash architecture can provide 4x performance improvements based on the number of IOPS for similar cluster and workloads with the assurance of predictable low latency. Because Virtual SAN is built on the hyper-converged architecture and into the VM kernel, Virtual SAN optimizes the I.O. path and minimizes the impact on the CPU when compared to other storage software solutions that need to be installed separately and run as an extra storage virtual appliance on top of the hypervisor. The hypervisor-based distributed architecture reduces bottlenecks, allowing Virtual SAN to make data placement and I.O. optimizations and provide the lowest latency without compromising compute resources or virtual machine consolidation. 
The virtual SAN data store is also highly resilient, preventing data loss in the event of a disk, host, network power, or rack failure. Virtual SAN has a distributed architecture that allows for elastic, non-disruptive scaling. Both capacity and performance can be scaled at the same time by adding a new host to the cluster that is scale out. Alternatively, capacity and performance can be scaled independently by merely adding new drives to existing hosts, that is scale up. For example, you can add flash-based devices for performance or HDD for capacity scaling in hybrid architectures and add flash-based devices for performance and for capacity scaling in all flash architectures. You can activate virtual SAN while creating a host cluster. You can also enable virtual SAN on existing clusters. When enabled, virtual SAN aggregates all local storage disks available on each host into a single data store that is shared by all hosts. You can later expand the data store by adding storage devices or hosts to the cluster. Though the hosts in the virtual SAN cluster need not be identical, it is recommended that you use identical hosts in the cluster to achieve optimum results. The hosts that do not have local disks can also participate and run their virtual machines on the virtual SAN data store. Virtual SAN uses a policy-based approach to storage management and can make data placements and I.O. optimizations. It delivers enhanced performance, scalability, and resilience. However, a minimum of 10% CPU overhead is generally imposed per host. Virtual SAN is a cluster-level feature that is integrated with VMware ESXi to create a distributed redundant array of independent disks, or RAID. To configure a virtual SAN, a group of ESXi hosts are grouped into a cluster. Virtual SAN combines local storage devices dispersed across multiple hosts within a cluster and presents them as a single data store or storage resource. At least three ESXi hosts in the virtual SAN cluster must contribute local storage to the virtual SAN data store, and this local storage must be a combination of one SSD and one or more HDDs. Moreover, VMware can support a maximum of 64 hosts per virtual SAN cluster. The hosts communicate with each other through a specialized virtual SAN network. The virtual SAN ESXi host and the virtual SAN cluster must satisfy a predefined set of hardware and software requirements in order to create a virtual SAN. Note that Virtual SAN supports only the hardware that are listed in the VMware Compatibility Guide, or VCG. Click each option to learn more. Each Virtual SAN ESXi host must have at least one dedicated 1 gigabit per second network interface card, or NIC. It should be connected to a single Level 2 or L2 with a multicast that is IGMP snooping option enabled, or Layer 3 or L3 network. On each virtual SAN ESXi host, a VM kernel port must be enabled for virtual SAN communication. Virtual SAN requires at least three hosts, with ESXi running in each local storage, to form a supported virtual SAN cluster. The hosts that form the cluster can be managed by VMware vCenter server. The hardware devices that may form a part of the virtual SAN must be validated to ensure that they are compatible. These devices must be listed in the VCG. Click each option to learn more. The virtual SAN setup should consist of at least one SAS or SATA or PCIe SSD. Also, the flash read cache should not use SSDs, and the flash disks should not be formatted with VMFS or any other file system. In the all flash architecture, flash devices are used for capacity. In the hybrid architecture, magnetic disks are used for capacity. On each host, 
flash and magnetic disks are combined into disk groups. The capacity ratio of a flash disk to magnetic disks typically depends on use cases and workloads, but the best practice is to use 1 to 10 ratio of flash-based capacity to magnetic disk in each disk group. Virtual SAN supports a minimum of 1 gigabit per second or 10 gigabits per second NIC for networking purposes. Virtual SAN supports SAS, SATA controllers, or RAID controllers that work in pass-through or RAID mode. Virtual SAN 6.0 enhances the management experience of a user with the following improved features. On-disk format, delta disk type, performance-based snapshots and clones, storage consumption models, what-if scenarios, default storage policies, VM-centric policy-based management, UI resynchronization dashboard, disk or disk group evacuation, disk serviceability, proactive rebalance, health services, fault domain, data at rest encryption, hardware checksum. Click each feature to learn more. Virtual SAN 6.0 includes a new on-disk format based file system that delivers higher performance, scalable snapshots and clones, and online migration using Ruby vSphere Console or RVC. vSAN Sparse is a new type of snapshot on Virtual SAN. vSAN Sparse takes advantage of the new on-disk format writing and extended caching capabilities of Virtual SAN 6.0 in order to deliver an efficient performance. Highly efficient VM-centric snapshots and clones with support for up to 32 snapshots per clones per virtual machine and 16,000 snapshots per clones per cluster. The new snapshot and clones offer performance improvements over the previous vSphere snapshots and clones. The what-if scenarios of the storage consumption models allow a user to visualize virtual SAN 6.0 data store resource utilization when a virtual machine storage policy is created or edited. A default storage policy is automatically created when virtual SAN is enabled on a cluster. This default profile is used by virtual machines which do not have an explicit storage policy assigned. Storage requirements are associated with individual virtual machines or virtual disks in the form of storage policies. Virtual SAN uses these storage policies to automate provisioning and balancing of storage resources to ensure that each virtual machine gets the specified storage resources. Virtual SAN might need to move data around in the background during host failure, long-term or permanent component loss, user-triggered reconfiguration, or when in the maintenance mode. The UI Resynchronization Dashboard feature enables the vSphere Web Client UI to display virtual machine objects resynchronization status and the remaining bytes that require synchronization. Disk, or Disk Group Evacuation, is a feature that provides an ability to evacuate data from individual disk or disk groups before removing the disk or disk group from the virtual SAN. Disk serviceability is a feature that enables administrators to easily map the location of magnetic disks and flash devices using the following new features. The light LED on failures feature identifies the permanently damaged flash or magnetic device by turning on the disk LEDs. The turn disks LED on or off manually feature locates and identifies a particular flash or magnetic device. The mark disk devices as SSD feature marks on recognized devices as SSDs. Note that some flash-based devices may not be recognized as SSDs by the vSphere hosts. Using this feature, devices can be tagged and untagged for identification and classification purposes. The mark disk devices as local feature marks on recognize flash-based and magnetic devices as local devices. 
Note that some flash-based and magnetic devices may not be recognized as local devices by the vSphere hosts. The proactive rebalance feature provides the ability to manually trigger a rebalance operation in order to utilize newly added cluster storage capacity. The Health Services feature delivers troubleshooting and health reports to the vSphere administrators about virtual SAN 6.0 subsystems and their dependencies such as cluster, network, data, limits, and physical disk. Virtual SAN fault domains ensure that the replicas of virtual machine data is spread across the defined failure domains. The Data at Rest encryption feature protects the sensitive data on a disk using controller-based encryption methods. Virtual SAN 6.0 provides limited support for controller-based checksums to detect corruption issues and to ensure data integrity. In Virtual SAN hybrid architecture, all read and write operations go directly to the flash tier. Also, the flash-based devices are primarily used for two purposes in the Virtual SAN hybrid architecture. They are write buffer, read cache. Click each purpose to know more. The write cache behaves as a write buffer. Writes are acknowledged when they enter the prepare stage on the flash-based devices. Almost 30% of the flash device capacity is used for write buffering. Using a flash-based device for writes reduces the latency for write operations. When the read cache services are request, the read latency is reduced. Nearly 70% of the flash device capacity is used for read caching. When a request to cache is missed, data is retrieved from the magnetic devices. In virtual SAN all-flash architecture, Read and write operations go directly to the flash devices. High endurance flash devices that are listed in the VCG form the cache tier or write buffer. The low endurance flash devices that are listed in the VCG form the capacity tier. The choice of hardware is the important performance differentiator between the virtual SAN configurations. The key benefits of Virtual SAN 6.0 are Virtual SAN 6.0 simplifies and speeds up storage provisioning and management by providing a single pane of glass management with vSphere and granular virtual machine center control of storage service levels. Provisioning can be done in just two clicks. Virtual SAN 6.0 uses storage policies to automate provisioning and balancing of storage resources to ensure that each virtual machine gets the specified storage resources. Virtual SAN 6.0 can leverage VMware vSphere data protection and vSphere replication for data protection, backup, replication, and disaster recovery, or DR, purposes. Virtual SAN interoperates with vRealize automation and can be deployed in conjunction with VMware Horizon View in virtual desktop infrastructure or VDI environments and vCenter Site Recovery Manager in DR environments. Virtual SAN 6.0 leverages distributed RAID and cache mirroring to ensure that data is never lost if a disk, host, network, or rack fails. The automated self-tuning capability of Virtual SAN 6.0 helps to rebalance storage resources and align them with assigned virtual machine storage service levels. Virtual SAN helps in linear scaling of performance, capacity, and cost. It can expand the capacity of the virtual SAN data store by adding hosts to a cluster that is scale out to expand capacity and performance or disks to a host that is scale up to add capacity or performance. Storage APIs is a family of APIs used by third-party hardware, software, and storage providers to develop components that enhance several vSphere features and solutions. Virtual SAN 6.0 supports storage APIs such as Storage APIs, Multipathing, Storage APIs, Storage Awareness. 
Storage APIs Multipathing is a collection of VM kernel APIs that allows storage partners to enable and certify their arrays asynchronous to ESXi release schedules, as well as deliver performance-enhancing, multipathing, and load-balancing behaviors that are optimized for each array. Storage APIs multipathing are also known as the Pluggable Storage Architecture, or PSA. The Storage API Storage Awareness, or VMware vSphere API for Storage Awareness, or VASA, is an extension of VMware vSphere storage APIs. Using VASA, storage vendors can develop a software component for storage arrays. These storage arrays can be integrated with VMware vCenter to provide management functionality. The integration is done through server-side plugins called as storage vendor providers. Storage vendor providers might exist on either the storage array service processor or can be standalone. For virtual SAN, the storage provider is placed on the ESXi host. VASA guarantees a specific set of storage features to the virtual machines by presenting them as a storage capability. Such storage capabilities are termed as system-defined storage capabilities. ESX exposes VASA providers to the underlying storage array and becomes an out-of-band mechanism. Once it is presented to the storage array, VASA becomes a communication point between the ESX and the array. VASA offloads different data transfer tasks to the array. For instance, if you have VASA that can snapshot a virtual machine, ESX communicates through the VASA, and the corresponding VASA offloads the job to the storage array, thereby performing the snapshot at the array level. These types of actions can be performed by any array that supports API. A storage provider is a software component that is either offered by vSphere or is developed by a third party based on the VASA APIs. Storage providers integrate with a variety of storage entities that include external physical storage and storage abstractions, such as virtual SAN and virtual volumes. Generally, vSphere uses storage providers to obtain information about storage topology, status, and the storage data services offered in your environment. This information appears in the vSphere web client and helps you make appropriate decisions about virtual machine placement while allowing you to monitor your storage environment. Built-in storage providers typically run on the ESXi hosts and do not require registration. They are registered automatically when you enable Virtual SAN. When you use Virtual SAN, you can define virtual machine storage requirements based on performance and availability in the form of a policy. Virtual SAN ensures that the virtual machines deployed to Virtual SAN data stores are assigned at least one virtual machine storage policy. Once assigned, the storage policy requirements are then pushed down to the virtual SAN layer when a virtual machine is being created. The virtual disk is distributed across the virtual SAN data store to meet the requirements. Virtual SAN data stores support the simultaneous use of multiple policies and can enforce different quality of service levels for each virtual machine or each virtual disk. A virtual SAN data store also supports the provisioning of multiple individual objects, such as virtual disks or VMDKs with different profiles. Virtual machine storage policies are a set of storage requirements that an administrator configures for virtual machines. Storage policies capture the storage characteristics that are required by the virtual machine home files and virtual disks to run various applications within the virtual machine. Each of these storage policies reflects a set of capabilities that meet the availability, performance, and storage requirements of the application or SLA. Storage policies are created before the deployment of virtual machines and can be changed whenever required. A vSphere administrator who is responsible for the deployment of virtual machines can choose policies based on storage capabilities and requirements. Based on the policy selected for the object of the virtual machine, 
these capabilities get pushed back down to the virtual SAN data store. The object is created across ESXi hosts and disk groups in a manner that satisfies these policies. Virtual machines that are deployed to virtual SAN have an availability policy setting. This setting ensures that at least one additional copy of the virtual machine data is made available for future reference. The virtual machine storage objects, such as the VM Home, VMDK, Delta, and Swap, may be distributed across the hosts and disks in the virtual SAN cluster. Virtual machines may have a replica copy of such objects for availability or striped copies for better HDD performance. The Delta disks inherit the policy settings that are associated with the parent VMDK. Availability policies are applied to persistent data and write cache contents. Virtual SAN does not keep a full or partial copy of the VMDK on the host where a virtual machine runs. For virtual SAN, the placement object and component placement are based on overall optimization goals. In the event of a host failure, Virtual SAN maintains a copy of the in-cache data to protect it from getting corrupted. In the event of failure or corruption, virtual machines reuse the replicated copy of the cache and the disk data. Virtual SAN can be scaled up or scaled out. Scaling up the cluster can be achieved by adding additional disks or disk groups in order to provide capacity for additional objects and components. The number of virtual machines that can be scaled up per host is 200. The maximum size of VMDK is 62 terabytes. Scaling out can be achieved by adding ESXi hosts to the cluster. If the cluster is in the automatic disk claim mode, Compatible storage configurations are configured and added to the virtual SAN data store. If the cluster is in the manual disk claim mode, then additional steps are needed to add storage capacity. The maximum number of nodes that can be scaled out for hybrid and all-flash virtual SAN 6.0 cluster is 64. Virtual SAN can scale to the maximum number of hosts that the vSphere cluster can support. Clusters that are enabled using virtual SAN can be scaled on compute capacity without adding the storage. The hosts that do not have local storage can be added to the cluster. They can then access the virtual SAN data store. Virtual SAN 6.0 provides self-service capability to the application administrators by enabling them to integrate with cloud automation tools such as vRealize Automation, Power CLI and OpenStack. The control plane, which is programmable through public APIs, is used to consume and control policies via scripting and cloud automation tools. This in turn enables self-service consumption of virtual SAN storage to application tenants as well as a variety of external management frameworks. Monitoring and troubleshooting virtual SAN can be performed using tools and applications such as Virtual SAN Health Services, vRealize Operations, vSAN Observer. Click each option to know more. Virtual SAN Health Services are designed to deliver troubleshooting and health reports to vSphere administrators about virtual SAN 6.0 subsystems and their dependencies such as Cluster Health, Network Health, Data Health, Limits Health, Physical Disk Health. vRealize operations complement Virtual SAN with a management pack that can monitor performance of different storage aspects such as Virtual SAN objects and component limits, Disk and Disk Groups, Virtual SAN Data Store. vSAN Observer displays the performance statistics related to network, CBRC, and vSAN Sparse. It also displays in-depth information about vSAN's physical disk layer performance, cache hit rates, and latencies. 
Virtual SAN 6.0 adds functionality to visualize virtual SAN data store resource utilization when a virtual machine storage policy is created or edited. Virtual SAN's free disk space is raw capacity. When replication process is carried out, the actual available or usable space is even lesser. Virtual SAN 6.0's new user interface displays the actual usage of flash drives and magnetic disks. This information is also displayed in the Ruby vSphere console, or RVC. Now that you have completed this module, you should be able to Explain VMware Virtual SAN 6.0 Identify the technical characteristics, benefits, features, and all flash architecture of Virtual SAN 6.0. Outline the availability, performance, scalability, self-service, monitoring, and troubleshooting capabilities of Virtual SAN 6.0.